rank and evaluate project candidates. So in this step, the project manager goes in the system and give a appropriate rank to individual candidates and can optionally provide further details in terms of his comments and he can also change the status of the candidates. This step can also be performed in coordination with the staffing manager. Again, it all depends on your organizational structure, how you select and rank potential candidates. So let's go into Oracle applications and complete this step. Now here I'm going to assume that project manager has already had a one on one interview with individual candidates and based on that he is going to rank the candidates and provide his comments. So that's where we are. So go back to schedule people summary form. And here you can open the Oracle functional consultant resource requirement for which we just chosen the candidates from the resource pool. And you can simply go to candidates tab and you can see all the three candidates being selected. And here you can rank them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rank this as two and this person I'm going to rank it as one and this person I'm going to rank it as three. Or let's do one thing, this person also I'm going to rank it as two. Okay. And then you can change the status to say under review or maybe suitable since the rank is one and this one you can change it again as under review and you can also provide a change reason here that secondary review and here you can see initial review here you can see initial review okay and then you may simply apply the changes and hit the go button so it will go back to the summary form you can only specify a change reason if you change the status of the candidate so let's change the status to to say suitable okay let's try it again awesome so that's gone through and in the next movie I'm going to show you how one can finally select a candidate based on the ranking and the interviews that have been conducted and given in the system